What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baby Dodge token. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart. Then I will show you some uh, news that might uh, drive the price of this token. And we will continue with the technical analysis and with the probable outcome for the price. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to take a part in the limited time promo offer from Webull and earn two free stocks valued up to $2300, just open your account, deposit only $5 and choose the free stocks, link in my description. So, I made my previous video yesterday, uh, right at this point, and I've told you that we have uh, two major supports and resistances. First support was right here at 0.382 level, Fibonacci level from the top to this bottom and we have a confluence level with 0.382 Fibonacci level from the bottom, from the entire bottom to the entire top. And uh, this, uh, basically this level didn't even uh, hit by the price, we bounced back and we didn't hit the uh, next uh, resistance that was uh, at 0.618 retracement level from the top to the bottom. And we also have a confluence level with uh, 0.236 from our Fibonacci retracement from the greater scale. And uh, these two major key points should hold or should be broken. And as you can see, we broke uh, the support line. And uh, as you can see, we are moving down. And we have, for now, at the moment of recording this video, we have uh, this uh, level as a potential support level. I don't think that uh, this is a very strong support level because we don't have uh, much uh, confluence levels with other Fibonacci uh, levels. We have uh, 0 0.236 uh, from the top to the bottom and we have 0 0.5 but we don't have with this level any uh, major pivot points and uh, that's why I don't think that we might respect this level anytime soon. So. And uh, we will continue with the probable outcome for this uh, ticker from the technical standpoint in a minute. And uh, for now, let's uh, continue with the total sentiment of the crypto market. As you can see, the total market is down for about 2.48% uh, over the last day. And the total market cap is $1.37 trillion for now. And uh, as you can see, major cryptocurrencies uh, are in red. And uh, this is a quite uh, negative uh, signal for other minor cryptocurrencies and all the DeFi uh, tokens, like uh, Baby Dodge. And uh, let's continue with its numbers. And uh, it's also down for about 0.2% during the last 24 hours. And uh, it has a total tradable volume of uh, $16.272 million. And it's up for 11.34%. So, it is uh, rather good that we have uh, a little bit higher volume than we had previously, but as you can see, we have the volume is stepping down and it is not a good sign because of uh, this up movement. Usually, when we have the first initial wave to the upside, we have to see uh, the volume that is higher than it was previously at the time of uh, this retracement. And it is very important. So, and let's continue with their official Twitter. And for now they have, uh, let me show it to you, 128,000 followers. They added during the last 24 hours about uh, 3,000 new followers. And it is a good sign. And let me show you this uh, news. Uh, 26 minutes ago, uh, they posted this tweet. If this gets retweeted by Elon Musk, we will donate $100,000 to a dog rescue of his choice. Very important uh, statement and I think I have to say that uh, they want to pay attention on uh, their coin with the Elon Musk's attention. And it is a rather clever idea because uh, for now Elon Musk have to choose whether he want to make this donation to the dog rescue or not. And uh, it is very interesting what we have uh, from this uh, point. So, next one, five hours ago, retweet if you want burn. And, uh, of course, a lot of uh, people who hold this uh, token want to burn because of uh, the tokenomics. Next one, we have uh, this uh, tweet that I covered yesterday. And this is the major, major news that was uh, announced uh, just a couple of days ago and uh, the news was that for the race of uh, 10th of July uh, Xfinity Racing, Brandon Brown's uh, car will have uh, this uh, color scheme 
with the baby dodge on its car. So, and we have the results of uh, this race and here is the results for Atlanta Motor Speedway and the Credit Karma Money 250 and uh, the race was uh, on July the 10th. So, Kyle Busch, <laughs> as usual, almost as usual, was the winner of uh, this race and let me show you the number 31 was Brandon Brown and uh, the number of his car is 68 and as you can see he was the last one who has the time behind the uh, leader not the laps so and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so, as you can see, we almost uh, defined uh, that uh, we have uh, ABC correction from the very top and to current price. And uh, this correction should have uh, three waves or five waves in a A wave, three waves strictly, three waves in a B wave and strictly five waves in a C wave. So, we have uh, this weird structure, but we have waves inside the waves and this means we can make the breakdown either way either it is the first wave second somewhere here potentially third one fourth retracement and another five waves to the downside to finish the a wave here we have strictly three waves and uh, here is the a b and c and for now we are forming only uh, two waves first impulsive wave and the uh, second impulsive wave and uh, in my opinion we might have uh, several legs to the downside in order to complete the C wave and usually the length of the C wave compared as one to one as uh, the length of the A wave but with the total bullish sentiment for the asset we might have a lower ratio between these two waves and I have to say that for now the major catalyst uh, might be Elon Musk with uh, his uh, tweet with with his retweet and with the donation of one hundred thousand dollars and if uh, he will pay attention on this uh, tweet it will be a major catalyst otherwise uh, we will see lower prices so and to project uh, potential levels i pull the fibonacci extension tool from this top to this bottom and to the top of the retracement and let me clean the chart a little bit so Right here you can see the levels of 0.786, 0.61 and 0.61 as you can see is the confluence level with the bottom of our A wave and also it is a confluence level with the Fibonacci retracement level of 0.618 and 0.65. And in my opinion, we might have uh, the bottom of our C wave as a double bottom. And with the bullish news uh, from the fundamental standpoint, from this point we might go higher. Otherwise, we will see a lower price action and you have to keep in mind on this level. So, in my opinion, if you want to try to catch this uh, trade, uh, just uh, follow my three simple rules. Do not put the money that you are not willing to lose. Second one, do not go all in. And third one, do not put stop loss close to your entry price. And uh, this asset is still extremely risky. And I don't encourage anybody to invest in this uh, coin for the long term. It is just uh, short term gains, potential short term gains. And that's why I cover this type of assets uh, on my channel. So, from the technical standpoint, uh, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys until next time. Bye!